fresh palm fruit benches are transported to factory by truck. Weighing with weigh bridge. And a fresh fruit benches receiving platform. And it is charged on the slope platform for storage. After opening hydraulic door, FF may slide into sterilizer cage automatically. Transform orbit through transfer carriage. And enter sterilizer. Sterilizer is divided into horizontal sterilizer and vertical sterilizer. Take vertical sterilizer as example. Uses scraper conveyor to convey and distribute fresh fruit bunches in vertical sterilizer. Start filling with steam. Sterilize palm fruits under certain temperature and pressure. After reach preset sterilization time, drain steam empty. Materials discharge from bottom screw conveyor. After sterilizer cage enters sterilizer entirely, close gate. Start filling with steam. Sterilize palm fruits under certain temperature and pressure. Generated condensate during sterilization is discharged to condenser from bottom pipelines and then discharged to sludge oil pit after reach preset sterilization time. Drain steam empty. And open sterilizer door. Pull sterilizer cage out from sterilizer. Finish sterilization process. Transfer carriage transforms orbit of sterilizer cage. And it transports to Tipler. Sterilizer cages enter Tipler in turn. After fixing rotate 180 degrees, four sterilized fruit bunches into bunch conveyor. Convey to thresher drum. Fruit bunches rotate with thresher drum through beating and falling. Fruits fall into under thresher conveyor from bunches. Empty fruit bunches discharge from the other side of thresher drum and conveyed to EFB area by EFB conveyor. Fruits are conveyed to fruit elevator from school conveyor under thresher and elevate to fruit cross conveyor, transfer to fruit distribution conveyor. Redundant fruits are recycled by overflow fruit conveyor. Fruits enter every digester. Fruits are heated and digested in digester. Detested fruits enter screw press. Screw press utilizes double screw extrusion and hydraulic device to press oil out. Get crude palm oil and cake. Crude palm oil settles down in sand trap tank. and a stable deck vibrating screen. Through double deck vibrating screen, separate, collect and press steering. Filtered crude oil enters crude oil tank for temporary storage. Use crude oil pump to convey it to vertical clarifier tank.
through heating, stirring, and settling treatment. Clear oil stays up. Dirty oil and water settle down. Clear oil goes through oil skimmer and is pure oil tank. After oil enters first stage clear oil tank for heating and precipitation, overflows to first stage clear oil tank for reprocessing. Clear oil overflows into oil transfer tank. Use oil pump to pump into oil heating tank. Heated oil enters vacuum oil dryer. Vacuum dryer matches vacuum system. Draw out moisture quickly and realize drying a washing oil. After drying, use oil transfer pump to convey to oil storage tank. And use oil dispatch pump to convey oil to refining plant or oil tank for later treatment. Dirty oil in vertical clarification tank enters dirty oil skimmer from bottom. Then, enters dirty oil tank. Convey to descending cyclone with descending pump. Separate hard sand in dirty oil. Enter the counter feed tank. After dirty oil and a part of water mix, enter three phase decanter. Separate dirty oil into oil, water and residue. Oil is recycled and conveyed into crude oil tank. Oil residue and water are collected into fat pit for settling separation. Fat pit collects or dirty oil and water in production plant and separate into dirty oil and water. Dirty oil is conveyed to crude oil tank by oil circulation pump. Dirty water is conveyed to dirty oil pit by final effluent pump. The cake from screw press enters cake breaker conveyor. After conveying and cracking, enter debris cover system. Relying on wind power of fiber cyclone to separate fiber and nut. Use fiber shell conveyor to convey fiber to boiler as fuel. Redundant fuel enters fuel retrieval storage for recycling. Surplus nuts are polished in polishing drum. Enter destiner separator. After removing macadam materials, enter nut elevator. And elevate to nut grading screen. Separate into big nut and small nut. And collect in nut hopper. Crack it with ripple mill. Nut enters cracker. Utilize relative motion between cracking rollers and cracking wall. Crack nut and guarantee the integrity of kernel. Cracked nuts are separated into shell and a kernel. Adopt cracked mixture conveyor and a cracked mixture elevator to convey to first and second separation system, relying on wind power to separate shell out. And convey to boiler as fuel. Redundant kernels need to be washed in clay bath, vibrating screen, 
and her wet kernel elevator together with a separated kernel from first and second separation system. Convey to kernel silo. Dry with hot air. Convey to kernel storage bin for storage. Water in reservoir is conveyed to elevated water tank by reservoir transfer pump. In pipeline. Add chemical reagent from chemical tank to adjust pH value of water. Water flows into water clarifier tank bottom. After overflow and clarification separation, separate sand and impurity out and enters clarified water tank. Use pressure sand filter booster pump to convey to pressure sand filter. Water in pressure sand filter is filtered by layers of quartz sand with different granularity. Filtered water enters elevated water tank on a high-level water tower. After treated by water softening system, enters boiler feed water tank. Heated water is pumped by the aerator booster pump to the aerator. After removing oxygen in water supplied to steam boiler, finally pumped to boiler with boiler filled water pump. Elevated water tank can also offer water for process production and life. Steam boiler is heat and power source of the whole plant. Through steam separator to reduce moisture of steam and enter steam turbo alternator. Under the action of steam with high pressure and temperature, steam turbo alternator generates high-speed mechanical rotation, convert mechanical kinetic energy into electric energy through electric generator for plant production, and living power utility. After turbo generator, the pressure and temperature of steam reduce and store in back pressure receiver. Meanwhile, plant is equipped with diesel generator as standby application. The whole plant realizes electric power self-supply by product for recycling, reduce production cost, and achieve environmental and efficient production targets.